Alright guys, don't mind the background noise. Just gonna do a quick unboxing video. So here's the box, TiVo logo. Other side is, I think, the Black Widow logo, but it's covered up by a bunch of stuff. So there's the outside box, that's about it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and open up the rest of it. Where did I put the knife? I already have it right here. And we'll see what it looks like. Well, definitely looks like customs. Take a look and mess around with it. You guys get that, whoever gets that reference. All right, so it looks like the top, I think it used to have something in there, but now it doesn't. It must have been maybe like a customs declaration form or something. There's the Black Widow logo. I don't know if you see that. Let me see if I can some less glare on that for you. There we go. So let's take this out of the big box. By the way, this thing is a 17.4 kilograms, which is about what, 37 or so pounds? Something like that. All right, let's open her up. Great job, customs. Nice and tight. Yeah, I'm sure when they see something that looks all like electronic, they have to check it out. All right, so we're opening it up. Here is the instruction manual. Now from what we've been seeing on the boards, there is some errors in here, but they are being corrected. Just stay tuned with those or follow some of the assembly videos that are gonna be coming out here pretty soon. Uh, when they're out, I'll link them to this video. But wow, this is awesome, look at this thing. I really don't like those L brackets at all, but we're gonna use them. We're gonna put it together stock form and then do an upgrade video. Nice. And it smells like fresh ink. Okay, let's move that to the side for now. Here we go, have our packing list. Uh, nothing's ticked, <laughs> so we can't really tell if uh, they QC'd it or not. It's all right, I think this is a, a custom box they put together just for me, so. Here's a schematic of all the bags, I believe. Check it out, so each box, oh, that's probably why it took them so, so fast. Customs probably just saw it and didn't care to open anything. <laughs> okay, what's in the first box, let's check. I believe this is the extruder. Very cool. Not too heavy at all. Still got some beef to it though. Definitely heavier than the tarantulas. So we'll set that aside. On to the next one. See what's in this beast? Power supply. That's good. Looks good. Nice and light. There's a built-in fan this time, which is awesome. I think I believe these are the ones that we were, I think, talking about when we upgraded the power supplies. These ones are 24 volt, 20 amp. So that's really cool. It's a lot better. Next. Get to the big guy here. What is this guy here? So if you guys noticed, I'm time-lapsing every little tiny uh, thing because I want this video to be as quick as I can make it without too much of my blabbing. Oh, this one's just kind of a top here. What's in this one here? What's in the box? All right, wires and wire management. Nice. Ooh, I like how they have it all bundled in there already. That's actually really cool. I was uh, thinking about how I was going to get that done in a good amount of time so I can actually start testing this beast. Uh, here we go, we got some more wire covering. Looks like the standard like auto parts wiring co wire covers. I don't know what you call this stuff, convoluted tubing or something. I can't remember what it's called. Wow, this is actually really cool. I think these are LED strips. I did not even realize that that was gonna come into this printer. That's awesome. Cool, some heating wires and a USB plug. Uh, I, I had some trouble with the last USB plug, so I replaced my uh, tarantulas, but we'll see how well this one does. All right, so this one I think they did try and dig into. Or maybe they were going to and then they decided, eh, screw it. We'll just check what's under the foam. Uh, this here is, I believe this is all the acrylic parts and power cable. It's the wrong power cable for me, but it's okay though, because I have plenty of power cables I can use. But yeah, look, it's kind of bent, or I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be in Europe. I'm not even sure how that works. But anyway, that's not gonna work for me. But I have a power cord that will that will work, so. Now, okay, now this is the acrylic for the power box. Wow, that's bigger than I thought it'd be. You can see how big that fan is. It's like 100 mil. And here we have the belts. Here is our, if you get the model, you share the post and they uh, get your name on a list. You actually get a free gift. I'm not sure if the promotion's still going on, so don't quote me on that, but this is the BL Touch. A little SD card looks better quality than last time. But anyway, so yeah, we got the belts. Here's the giant fan for the power box. Power button, a lot of people have trouble with this, but you just gotta keep pushing the button in until it clicks, push it hard and it'll, it should work. Here's your toolbox, cool. I'm not a tool. And here is for the hotbed. This be the wheels and the springs and stuff like that. And then, the control box. So this puts together the box. Okay, cool. So, the good stuff. Look at this stuff. It's 
a little bit pricey to get it anodized, but it makes it look really nice. They have everything kind of organized. I believe that's where this comes into play here. It's got everything labeled, so you can follow the manual, and everything's all in here. It's B1. Okay, so they actually don't have it in order to this because I just found B1 where B4 was, but that's fine. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's correct, actually. It's just upside down. So this actually is supposed to be like this. So the, instead of B1 being on top left, it's B1 here. It's gonna be B2, if I'm correct. It is. So I guess they really should just invert the photo and put it so it matches because a lot of people are going to be looking at it like this, but it's actually like this. So B1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. B11. Yep, B11. Everything is as it should be. So let's get this gigantic piece out of here and get to the extrudes. Cool. Alright, so over here we have these L brackets. They're not extremely terrible but they're not really the best thing to use. But there we go, we have those. Of course, we got that that signature black extrude look. I'm not sure why people are having problems with um, how square these are, because this looks really, really square. Like, these, e these edges are really jagged. So it, it could have been just maybe the first couple batches until Leo actually went and talked to them to make sure they're cut straight. There it is, I got the motors. Let's see if anything else is under this one. Nope, that's it. This is the part that that uh, everyone looks at too, to make sure that this is straight. I can't really tell on here, I'll have to do it on the table. We gotta make sure that these rods are straight. Eyeballing it, they look really, really nice. I'm used to checking it with pull shafts and stuff like that, pull cue shafts. Just gotta see how big this gigantic piece is. That is a crazy system, look at that, what is that? Two by four by two? I mean, how would you call that piece of extra if you were to ever try and find it yourself? Anyway, there it is guys, that's the full unboxing. That's what you're gonna get in your guys' um, kit. There is some parts that are being reworked right now and they're going to be placed with a repair slash retrofit kit that's going to basically smooth out all the small little issues that we've been discovering with the, the initial printer that was released the first time. So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing video and let's get to assembling it. See you next video. Have a good one.